I know that this video is supposed to be about Animal Crossing, but before we get started, let's just get one thing out of the way. Uh, this is blood spatter, but not because I killed a man, but uh, I had a really, really bad nosebleed last night um, right after I killed a man, so. Hi, today it is very late at night. It is, okay, it's not that late. I'm just a Last time that I filmed a video in this type of lighting, it was when I was showing you guys my favorite TikTok videos and it was because I had no power, except this time I do have power, but the lighting just felt right. It's just like mood lighting, just mood. I've been seeing all your requests for me to show you my Animal Crossing Island and that is exactly what we're doing today. This is the best sound ever, ready? Yeah. I'm not a gaming channel in any way, shape, or form, but Animal Crossing has given me a significant amount of serotonin within the last like 12 years, I would say. Before that we jump into the rest of this video, make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty, and if not, you're disgusting. And make sure to have your bell notifications on or else you're gross, okay. So I'm gonna be showing you my island, I'm gonna be showing you my villagers, my home, whatever else is interesting. Obviously I'm not recording in real time because uh, I found out that you can only record for 30 seconds at a time on the Switch Lite. What is up with that? There's a reason I got the Switch Lite instead of just the regular Switch, and it's because uh, that shit is expensive. I also don't believe in TVs. Um, it's not that I don't believe in them being good for people. I just don't believe that they're real. I don't believe that they exist. So I don't really use TVs, so I would just get no purpose out of using the dock or any Thing like that. Animal Crossing truly came out at the perfect time. Like that's why they kept pushing it back. It's because Nintendo knew there would be a pandemic. But I want to tell you guys a little bit today about how Animal Crossing has truly benefited my mental health over the past many, many moons, but especially the last couple moons. <laughs> oh, I forgot. If any of you don't know what Animal Crossing is, um, it's like Sims, but on crack, but like good crack. It's not anything like Sims whatsoever. It's like a really, really cute Sims. Like you can't make your character's woohoo or anything, but like it's still like really cute nonetheless. So I remember the very first time that I got Animal Crossing and it was when I was in London visiting my family. My cousins had it and so my aunt got it for me as like a gift and I have this massive problem with accepting gifts and guilt issues. I I've literally had guilt issues since I was like a little girl and I was so torn up about it. It like sent me into full panic as a very young kid and I just like, wish I could give like younger Nicole a hug. It was never that deep. It just quickly turned into my favorite game in the entire world. This is my house. I'm kind of going for like a little New York apartment theme. Kind of, sort of, not really. The only thing that implies that it'd be New York apartment-esque is the brick wall. That's pretty much it. I have my records right here. I have way too many plants. I got a phone uh, for no one to call me. I don't know, more plants, more plants, more plants. Incense, um, not to be confused with incest. Okay. I'm really, really jealous of like people who have like beautiful houses, but that's just not me. Mine is beautiful in its own way. So I just don't have enough money right now to pay off my loans because I'm not time traveling in this game. So I turned this room into a bathroom slash kitchen. It's not very sanitary, I will admit, but does it make me happy? Yes. And happiness overrides sanitation any day. <laughs> so on one side, as you can see, I have a little like urinal-esque thing. I have an ironing board tissues, toilet, and then my favorite, a shower, of course. A mirror so that I can stare at myself very narcissistically, I love it. And then on the other side, it's completely like kitchen stuff, like I have three different appliances to make coffee, which is really ironic, because in real life, I have a very bad caffeine sensitivity. But do I have a real espresso machine that I use at home? Yes. Should I be? No. It's not good for me. I remember missing Animal Crossing so bad, like my freshman year of high school, that I decided to sell all my belongings, which is really strange. And you should definitely be looking out for your friends if they try and sell all their belongings and give all their belongings away. But I was just generally selling all my belongings because I wanted to buy a Nintendo 3DS so that I could play the new Animal Crossing. And then I returned it within like the 30 day period or whatever, because I just wanted to play it for those 30 days and that's all I allowed myself. Speaking of which, allowing myself, that's the issue. So quarantine started, I was like, all right, whatever. This blows, we're probably gonna be here for a while. And I knew that Animal Crossing was coming out soon and I wanted it really, really badly, but the only issue was that I didn't have something to play it on. <laughs> so I debated getting my own Switch for a very, very, very long time before I actually committed and got one. I was just like very adamant and stressed about getting this whole game because once again, I have 
money spending guilt, whatever it's called, money guilt in general. I don't do well with spending my money on things because I just feel like I'm unworthy. I shouldn't be spending my money, um, which is really nice because in Animal Crossing, you can spend a whole lot of money and it feels kind of good. But in real life, it does not feel good. I work hard. I should be able to use my money towards things that make me happy, but I can't bring myself to do it because I feel like I don't deserve it. But then like, what's the point of working so hard? You know what I mean? Like. If you can't even enjoy your money, then what are you working for? Yes, I'm still drinking out of a jar, please. I don't want to talk about it. It took a lot for me to actually purchase this. And to be honest, I'm very, very happy and proud of myself that I did. This has been an investment in my mental health stand by that. And that being said, especially right now, I feel like there's this weird idea of productivity culture, which is something that I'll actually be talking about on my new podcast that I have. It's called Talk Nasty to Me. And my episode coming out Monday, if you're watching this on Sunday, it's actually about weird productivity culture and how it kind of sucks, especially in this time now. Everyone is just eating each other's assholes about being productive. That sentence made no sense, but I stand by it. What is up with America's, specifically America's obsession with being productive? I have fallen into it. I am very guilty of it. And here I am feeling guilty about playing a game that makes me happy. That's really, really weird. Because in my brain, I'm like, oh my God, if I'm not productive at all hours of the day that I can be productive, then I'm wasting my life away. And I think that's because I spent a really large majority of my life being unproductive because everything I did didn't really genuinely fulfill me. So now I feel like I have to play catch up and do a lot more. But even in the world of like social media, like everyone's like, oh my God, you should be using all your time to be making YouTube videos and then making Instagram posts and then making TikToks and then making Twitter posts. And it's like, dude, I don't have that all in me. You know what I mean? Like this is fun for me and I feel like I wanna post when I want to post and I wanna make content when I wanna make content, but to make, Imagine making a to-do list. Imagine genuinely making a to-do list and being like, all right, make a TikTok today. Make a funny tweet. If that's you, good for you. But if I did that, I feel like that would steal my entire soul away from me. Like it would be like gone. And so for me, I'm trying to unlearn this weird idea that I constantly have to be doing something productive or something that will bring me money in return or something that will be good for the business. No, just shut up. Just do things that make you happy. And when I'm speaking, I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking to you, bitch. You and the viewfinder. Playing Animal Crossing is the one joy that I can just, well, not the one, but one of the joys that I can just sit down and genuinely enjoy and be like, this is good for my mental health because I am enjoying myself. And I love that. Also, like I'm not productive all hours of the day. Like a large part of my day is spent procrastinating. Like for example, like doing things that are not actually like relaxing. Like for example, like I'll be laying in bed all day watching TikToks, but that's not relaxing to me because the entire time I'm thinking about that I should be doing something else in that moment, but I'm doing something else to distract me. And so I'm not actually relaxing at that moment. I'm just wasting time. I'm doing nothing essentially. And so, it's even more rewarding when I get to like do whatever I need to do for the day, be able to lay down in bed, turn on my mood lighting, turn on a candle, drink some booch, whatever, and then play Animal Crossing for a few hours, like listen to a podcast while doing it. It's like my favorite new night routine ever. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you my night routine. Woo! Yeah, that's essentially all it would be. But I am very, very genuinely proud of myself that I'm able to kind of learn these new healthier habits. There's definitely some more things that I want to be doing. Like for example, I used to love painting and I don't paint nearly as much as I used to. I didn't even paint a lot to begin with. However, that's why I'm just so grateful for this game because it's forcing me to relax. It's forcing me to take life a little bit more slowly to just enjoy myself. Like sometimes I get so frustrated with this game because everything's not so fast paced. Like, oh my God, this villager's talking too much. Oh my God, this is taking so long to sell. Oh my God, this is taking so long to like build something. I'm like, oh my God, bitch, just enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the music, enjoy the moment. I'm saying this now, but I know I'm gonna get annoyed while I'm gonna try and build a new shovel or something. However, I did find myself really, really stressed out about this game, like especially yesterday, because I have designed my TikTok algorithm to now be a mix of animal TikToks, 
peak good ass comedy TikToks and Animal Crossing TikToks. And a lot of them are people showing their beautiful islands. And then now suddenly this game that I enjoyed to be like super fun and cute and fartsy, artsy and fun and wholesome and everything. And now suddenly I'm comparing myself to other people's towns and why does not mine look like that? And why does my house not look like that? And it just like, I'm like, dude, what are you doing? It's a game. It's a little <laughs> game that's supposed to be fun. Why are you comparing yourself? And it's, the evil little voice inside of me that's like you need to be perfect you need to be the best at everything that you've ever done ever and then I got onto the internet and I realized I'm not the best ever but maybe my thoughts would be different if I didn't sit on the internet petition to start calling the internet inti I'm starting it now I want you to join along thank you but like literally if I didn't go on tiktok and if I didn't watch these tiktoks about their islands being beautiful then I probably would think that my tiktok island is way more beautiful. You know what I mean? Because I wouldn't know. Ignorance is bliss, baby, okay? I'm trying my absolute best at not watching them because they make me overwhelmed, which sucks because they're so cute, but I can't control myself. That's not their fault, it's my fault, and I need to retract. I need to do better, okay? So yesterday, I was genuinely feeling extremely anxious, and I'm not exaggerating. I was laying down next to my mom, and like I started to get this like tightness into my chest, and I'm like getting like super erratic and everything, and I'm like scrolling through Pinterest looking at all these like Pinterest boards about people's islands and everything. And my mom's like, dude, relax. I mean, she didn't say it like that but kind of and she's like why are you like destroying everything i was like because it's not perfect because it's not the way that i want it to be that's ridiculous that's just stupid i think i just get in my own way too much and i need to just sit back and learn to enjoy it for myself you know like this game is not meant to be played in like one month it's supposed to be played over the course of many months or years even so i just need to like sit my ass down relax and uh, yeah, maybe my house has all mismatched furniture, but guess who still got an A rating on their Happy Home Academy? Me, bitch. Terraforming is hard in this game. Building stuff all the time, it's just frustrating. No one really talks about how frustrating it is to do some shit in this game. For example, the ladder, I hate using the ladder. I don't even wanna touch the upper forms of my entire island. I would just like to eradicate it. Let's just keep the entire game to one even level. Like, I like the idea island, crossing yeah, i call it island crossing animal crossing who is this man to make a long ass story short i, I put a whole, a whole bag, bag of jelly beans, jelly beans up my ass i think from now on i'm gonna make it a personal goal of mine that when i'm making my to-do list for the day because i like making to-do lists that doesn't mean i stick to them but they make me feel better if i do them i think i'm gonna make it a personal goal of mine to in my to-do list to actually write down things that i need to do in terms of relaxation i think i need to start reading books again i think i need to start painting again i think i need to play a little bit more animal crossing even i have been feeling a little bit hashtag sad and overwhelmed a little bit sometimes because I have been in quarantine now for over two months but it just sucks because at least my state doesn't look like we're really opening up anytime soon understandable what I'm trying to say here is is that I'm just like frustrated and annoyed that I have been sitting here and doing all the proper things for social distancing I need to do I haven't seen my boyfriend even though for the first time in our little long distance relationship here we are, we're like 20 minutes away from each other. We can't see each other. No, I can't see any of my friends. I have been stuck at home and before like it was a little bit easier because I had school and I was doing YouTube and school. And so like, I was just like super duper busy. And so I wasn't really focused on all that. But now that uh, school is not in session, I just have a little bit more free time. And now I'm really, kind of getting sad again. You know how frustrating it is to be following the rules to try and keep people safe and get our state opening up as soon as possible. And then there's people out here who uh, just don't care and have been hanging out with everyone and anyone for however long they want. That sucks. <laughs> that feeling kind of sucks, but I'm not surprised i'm just disappointed and it's just kind of getting to me because it's like i'm doing this for you why can't you do something for me now stay the f home okay oh this kind of feels like a hug this is the most touch i've gotten in a really long time overall this game is the best decision that i've ever made for my little quarantined heart and i recommend this game to literally anybody if you need 
a stress relief, a slow, enjoy life kind of game. This is your game. However, my island is still a work in progress, but you know what? We're taking our time here because I want it to be beautiful and perfect on my own terms. Animal Crossing has 100% improved my mental health. I will be getting off of my antidepressants immediately. Just kidding. This was my island. This was my video, and I hope that you enjoyed. I know today's video was kind of just chill, laid back. I'm just kind of in a chill laid back mood. Also, my house is really hot right now. It's like 83 degrees in my room and I'm not exaggerating because it is hot outside. Also, it's like very humid and I it, this thing happens to me where I get like super lethargic and tired and so I'm just feeling like I'm in another dimension, especially with this mood lighting. Hey Google, turn the lights purple. Look, we're in euphoria. Hey Google, turn the light red. Oh. Oh yeah, I kind of like this lighting better. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like because it helps me out so much. And also make sure to leave a comment what your favorite Animal Crossing villager is because I want to know and I think mine is Marcel because he's super cute, but I want to know yours and I read every single comment, so do that. And also make sure to subscribe if you want to be nasty and if not, you're disgusting. And also make sure to turn on the bell notifications so that you get notified every single time I post or else you are gross. Okay, I'm gonna go now and I probably really should change my sheets because there is actually kind of like a lot of blood on it and uh, I have to hide the evidence. Okay, have a good night, bye. <laughs>